Hey guys, we're working on our fig plot data analysis today, and that requires us to look at a, a data set from both Thornton Academy's fig plot as well as Lee Academy's fig plot. We're going to need to make two pie graphs today, and as usual, we're going to use pages to do that. So we're going to open pages up here, create ourselves a new document. And in order to create a pie graph, uh, we're going to go up here to the upper right hand corner and select the plus symbol. It's going to drop down for us, and we're going to scroll here and grab the pie graph. Once we've got our pie graph opened up here, it creates this uh, completely random pie graph for us. We need to switch up the data here. We're going to go in and select Edit Data. When we do so, it brings us to this uh, the corresponding data table for the graph. Instead of months out of the year, we're going to put in the actual tree species found in our plot. Now, the TA plot has, I believe, four or five species uh, and the Lee Academy plot has quite a few more. So however many species you have in the plot is the number of species you need to list across the top there. So I'm just going to put in, uh, let's say, we'll say species 1 and uh, species 2, species 3, and species four. Uh, I guess I'm going to get rid of these other two columns by double tapping on the colored part. Let's see if we can get that to work here. Here we go. Come on. Delete that. And delete that one. All right, now we'll go in and we'll put in the number of each species. I'm just going to put in one, two, three, and four. And we can hit done. And we'll quickly have a pie graph that shows us uh, four various species, the overall composition of our plot by species. A couple key things we want here. Uh, we want to make sure we have a title on our graph always, and we want it to be really detailed and explain to the reader what they're looking at. I do that by getting the blue border around my graph and then going up there to the paintbrush, going down here to chart options, and turning my chart title on. Um, some other neat things we can do in there. We can turn our value labels uh, on and put them on the inside there. We can also include our series names if we want to. If they fit nicely and look cool, that's a good thing to do. Just remember, if you're going to turn your series names on, um, you want to make sure you turn your uh, legend off. We don't need a legend if we're going to label our series names. Um, the other thing, if you want to leave the legend in there and not label your series names, you want to make sure we go back here. Grab the legend by one side, kind of pinch it together, and then you can press and hold and move it down out of the way, away from your title, and you'll have a much better looking graph. When the time comes, uh, when you're all done with each graph, we can again uh, get the blue border around the graph, copy that thing, go back into eBackpack, uh, and under market, we can press and hold until we get the magnifying glass, and finally hit paste, and you'll have your nice graph right in there in the assignment. Uh, Good luck.